right, we're back here on Inside the Vandals, joined by Vandals head coach Paul Petrino. And coach, up next for you guys is Wofford, an FCS school. They got their first win uh, this past Saturday. You, of course, prepare for every game the same, but how different is it, if it's different at all, when you have USC one week and then you have an FCS school, Wofford, the next? Is there any difference? Um, probably more so than that. It's just their style of play. You know, they run the wishbone, so that's something that's a little different. That's something you got to put in extra time. We did work on the wishbone in spring ball and in fall camp just because it's a different type of offense and, uh, you know, it's really assignment football. So that, that probably makes it more of a, you know, a bigger deal than anything. Our guys, you know, you, doesn't matter who you play, we got to get ready to play. They, they play very hard, they're very well coached, and um, we need to make sure that we're ready to play the best game we can play in order to get a win. How tough is it for a defense to adjust to an offense that, frankly, you don't see that often? It, it's tough. That's why we made sure we worked it all spring. You know, we worked it a lot. We worked it probably 15 minutes almost every practice of spring ball, and in about a two week period in um, fall camp, we worked it 10 to 15 minutes. So that's something that we definitely planned ahead and made sure that we were working it so it wasn't just a one week getting ready for it. Wofford, they rushed for 444 yards, I believe it was, in the win over Tennessee Tech on Saturday. Did they throw the ball much? Did they try and just kind of go some misdirection and they throw the ball? They don't throw it a whole lot. You know, they probably threw it more than Georgia Southern did last weekend. They only threw it once. But, um, but they don't, they're, they're about running the football. That's their deal. That's what they want to do. They want to control it. They want to keep your offense on the sideline. So we need to get some three and outs. You know, we need to make sure that defense gets some stops and gets off the field so we, we can have the ball offensively and have a chance to, to score a lot of points. What do they do? Where's their talent at defensively? And how do you guys have to, to plan for them in that way? You know, they're a three, four defense. They like to bring pressure from one side or the other. Um, I think their talent, probably their best players are their inside linebackers. Um, their outside linebackers too. Their four linebackers are probably their best players. Um, they play hard, they run around. You know, they, they tackle well, so, um, you know, it's, it's a game where we just got to do a great job of executing. Um, having USC the week before offensively is probably a little bit more of an advantage because it's a little bit similar schemes and it's a little similar to what we've gone against, um, you know, all fall camp and in the spring. So offensively, it should be a scheme that we're ready to go against. Um, defense, we just got to make sure we're ready to, to stop the run and stop the wishbone. Next two games are here in the Dome, and, and three of the first four on your guys' schedule are here in the Dome. Is that an advantage for you guys, and how important are these to, to grab two wins in these next two games? It's definitely important, and, and you know, we just got to go one at a time first. We got to get this win first, and that's, that'll be big. We got to get a win going into conference play, and um, you know, we definitely need to get all the fans we can out here to support us, and our guys got to come with all kinds of passion and emotion, and, and we got to play the best game we've played, you know, to date, no question. I was listening uh, to the interview during halftime as Rob Spear came on the Vandal broadcast, and he was talking about how schools can now compensate athletes for the full cost of attendance, and that's causing this separation between school, you know, schools in the Power Five conferences and and other schools. Um, you know, obviously this is still a new thing, but how much have you begun to see that just even in recruitment and and in just being competitive in, in the college football landscape? You do see it. You definitely see it, and I think it's going to probably get more and more as as it goes on. But um, you know, one thing I think in, in, in recruiting, it'll probably come up more in, in somebody's home that's family's a little bit better off because if, if, they, if they can still qualify for, for financial aid, that's more than cost of attendance anyway. So, you know, everyone talks about cost of attendance, cost of attendance, but if they're a, if they're a full qualifier, they'll take the financial aid over the cost of attendance anyway, and you can't have both. He's Vandals head coach Paul Petrino. We're going to take a break, but up next we check in with the Vandals soccer team and volleyball as well. And make sure you fans come out and support the Vandals at home here on Saturday against Wofford. We're back here on Inside the Vandals. <laughs> 